everyone and welcome to Letty Does Jessica Jones. So in the last episode, we get the backstory of Jessica's mother after the events of the accident. We see that while her husband and her son died, Jessica did survive as well as herself, but Jessica healed way faster than she did. She had to be in IGH for years. So she was usually sedated and had to undergo a lot of anger management and for her like emotional outbursts and stuff uh, because of the experimenting. And she eventually just gets really upset that she is in IGH and she wants to see Jessica because she finds out that Jessica is actually alive. So she escapes, uh, injuring some nurses along the way and finds Jessica with her boyfriend who is planning on renting her out as a super powered goon, basically. So her mother overhears this and kills the guy because she does not like Jessica being rented out. Um, we also get to see Trish Walker uh, again when she was younger uh, and she was a pop star and we see that she had really bad drug problems. Um, and all that was going on while Jessica was getting a boyfriend and then having him murdered by her mother. And then Trish gets sent to rehab. So it was a pretty dark time uh, for Jessica, but that seems to be a reoccurring thing uh, in her life. So uh, yeah, basically after she murders Jessica's boyfriend, uh, she goes back to IGH and accepts some help from the scientist whose name I forgot to control her anger and her powers because she considers herself a danger to Jessica and to everyone else. So um, it's been years since then, which is why she has resurfaced again. And then the entire episode cuts back to present time because it's entirely set in a flashback and then we see that she's in a bar with Jessica um, and that she's telling Jessica this story. So uh, yeah, the episode ends with Jessica punching her mother in the face and then getting sedated by the doctor guy. And now we're just gonna see what happens to her. Um, I hope we get to see more of Trish. Trish is going back to just her addiction ten tendencies uh, with that super soldier enhancement drug thing. Um, so yeah, we're probably gonna see more cool stuff from her. And yeah, that's basically all I'm looking for. Jessica Jones, Season 2, Episode 8, Ain't We Got Fun. Let's get started. And she wants to throw it away. Just relax, okay? We'll figure this out. This is not just some case to me. I'm not Jessica's assistant. This is He my said life. the R word. Not just relax. You've lived like this for 12 years. I love her, but she's... That sounds like how I make breakfast. And if anything happens to you, I will hurt them. You know I will. I can't just leave you. Let go of me. Just take the money, goddammit, Carl. Come with me. I like how this whole conversation is happening and Jessica's still trying to, like, interject with her own thing. Do not come back. Get off me. Let go of me. Damn it, let go. This is just parenting. Didn't Jessica lock the door earlier? What did she expect would happen? Because I don't like having to justify myself to a guy I just went down on. 
You're welcome, by the way. So that's why we hooked up, because you're on that crowd. Why you're welcome. Man, he like came so far as a character, and now the threat of being dragged back into his old habits, and he like decides to mature. That's so cool. We're locked in here until the police arrive. So, that's all that's on offer. If it tasted like compost and air freshener, why did she drink half the bottle? of children. Yeah, why medicate kids when you can alter their entire genetic code? Don't. <laughs> that is true, huh? People. Like I'm back with you in our old house before everything. She does have a very distinctive voice. She's starting to feel bad. Screw Carl. She dug doing? that with her bare hands. They must think that's really weird right now. It's getting worse. No, 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 not again. God, God, hey. I feel sick. Wait. God, God. All right, let's go. Wow, that fast? Okay, don't get your panties in a bunch. Oh, panties? Okay. Grown goddamn women don't wear panties. We wear underwear. Get out. Aren't panties the same thing as underwear? It's just a different word, right? Oh, yeah. You didn't murder him or anything. Let's go. On one hand, I understand why she would be upset with someone texting and driving because an accident caused all this. On the other hand, even if they did get in an accident, I'm pretty sure that both of them would survive it. This is beautiful. Who did this? Paint by numbers. <laughs> Paint by numbers? <laughs> we'll take your time. I'm in no rush to spend the rest of my life in a steel box. I'm pretty sure they'd make the raft out of something stronger than steel. Is that the empty apartment? <laughs> Enchilada, all the important stuff. Your work is beautiful. It takes a right muse. <laughs> she hates that her mom is getting along with this guy. Stay away from him. Jessica's killed people though, so. Oh, I just now understand the chocolate bar thing because his abs look like pieces doing? of a chocolate bar. Because of the grooves in it. Man. Drink special That's clever naming. Special. Care anymore, huh? Important people don't care anymore. Oh, Malcolm, you were so close to being an adult. Oh, cool. She scratched his face because she's Hellcat. Dang, she has to be like sharpening her nails or something, though. Oh no, Trish is a pusher now. An enhancer. It's not addictive, says the addicted person. I'm surprised Malcolm didn't think that that was weird. He's gotta run. I mean, she did see someone like Iron Fist who has all these powers flowing through them, and she knows Jessica and Luke, so. You know, kind of makes sense that she's opened all these opportunities. I don't recognize that dude, though. No, Cherry. No! She wants this girl to be girlfriend number three. 
Well, no, the first person was her wife, ex-wife. Second one was her girlfriend. She went to jail. <laughs> She's just such a bad person. She's so pretty. <laughs> Wait, let me handle it. No. Stop. Well, that escalated quickly. Okay, it just ended. All right, so my favorite things from this are probably that Jessica's mom speaks Spanish and she gets along well with Oscar, which I think is so funny because even Jessica doesn't get along well with Oscar. Not all that much, but I did like that they're kind of more flirty with each other um, this episode. I think they're really cute. Uh, what I don't like is Jerry Hogarth, because I guess everything's just forgiven now. It's all whatever. We're just gonna completely forget that whole death by a thousand cuts thing because that was super fucked up in my opinion but nobody seems to give a shit anymore so okay I guess um but yeah another thing that I, I know that we won't see him this season, but I would have loved to see Turk interact with Jessica's mom. <laughs> Just to have her be like, what the fuck? <laughs> that would have been great. Um, but yeah, a super powered family, the two of them. They're so great. I'm so upset at myself for having watched the finale. Because I know that this is only temporary, but they're so cute together. I love just Jessica wanting to be like in denial that that's her mom, and then her mom just constantly doing things that make Jessica upset. Like, ugh, shit, she is. <laughs> so, um, yeah. I don't know. I thought this was a pretty good episode. I'm pretty excited for the episodes to come. Let me know what you guys thought of this episode and what your thoughts are of the show in general. And yeah, that's basically all I got for you for now. So get out there, do all this stuff, and I'll see you next time. Bye. Okay. Eat your tape. Okay. Okay, stop biting me. Here's your tail. Haha. <laughs> got you that time. I got you, got you, I got you.